My name is Anishka Alborzian. I am an empowerment health coach and energy healer. Hello, and I am Jacob, Jacob Moya, and I also do some healing and energy work as well, energy medicine, basically. Yes. And yeah. we've been doing these healer talks for a few weeks now. This is our eighth one, and we're excited to continue doing these. And we talk about energy, all things energy. So today we're going to have our Q&A around stress management, anxiety, and overwhelm from an energetic perspective. Exactly. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's very important because uh, we always think that the things start at the physical level. But emotions and our thoughts are not uh, physical, right? They're energetic. It's, it's energy. It's, it's, it's a thought. It's a creation of, of a, uh, some sort of awareness that we are bringing into our reality that start to create a shift and in a version of the reality for us, you know, a, ratio, a version of life for us. So it's, uh, it's very important to, to, to take in consideration these things that we've been talking about because they really going to help you to understand yourself and understand others better. Absolutely. And it's interesting because I do three different lives during the week. And last week I talked about stress and anxiety and overwhelm from a nutrition perspective. So that's why I would love to just, we'll do a Q and A and see from an energetic standpoint, what is stress? What is it actually? It's, it's a, a it's a reaction, it's an energetic reaction in your body based on a version of, of, of your reality that you're processing in your brain. Okay, so let's, uh, we, we probably all, we all understand now the, the fight or flight uh, uh, reaction, the natural reaction in our body, right? Uh, it's, you have a representation or something that you're experiencing that creates a physical reaction, but the beginning of everything is that physical representation is the version uh, of of the image of the experience or the event that you have in your mind, and your your brain in automatic goes to search, you know, for a past reference that can match the color, the vibration, the smell, the the sound, you know uses all your signs in order to match the information and search in your database if you if this is something that you experienced before and if and is and if that is the case then creates a reaction a physical reaction and the reaction is usually stress mm -hmm. so yeah it's, i think a part of it too is just well let's get continue but i, I just want to add to that stress to me is also the way we've been experiencing it more so as a society, it's just not being present. That's one of the things that I feel like is a part of it because it's just Ooh. about not thinking about what's happening right now. It's either future, fo for the most part, future focus too, right? No, I mean, maybe that's Well, society, in, 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 in a way it is, but you know what? There's, there's um, I mean, you can go on YouTube and try to find out sources of stress or something like that. And because there are experiments that, uh, for example, they put uh, stress in the mother before even the, she was pregnant, right? And, and it's about something. It, it, it can be, you know, about food or it can be about something. It's because it's an experiment uh, inside of a lab. And then when she have her babies, they react towards the same thing in a stressful way. So many times it's not even us, it's the stuff that we've been carrying from other versions uh, uh, of, uh, of ourselves, like parents or grandparents or stuff that is being carrying forward and carrying forward. And that's why you notice that in families, usually the lessons repeat, the lessons repeat. But what is important here is that uh, you have the opportunity to control it. You have the opportunity to put pause, you know, and make sense at the rational level and then make sense at an energetic level and release it, you know, because that is what is important. Just remember one thing. Usually a stress creates a, a, a series of chemicals, reactions inside of your body 
including adrenaline and other hormones that cortisol in, yeah, yeah that, that, that intoxicate your body yeah. right it don't allow your organs to to perform the way that they should uh, uh, because of that you know because they have to reserve energy they have to go into safe mode like in the computers right you don't see all the colors you don't see all the graphics just the basic so the same thing happened i mean it's it's like if you're running with uh, you know you are not close to a gas station you are in a long trip and you see that you start getting uh, low in gas well you're going to turn off the ac uh, you're going to be more careful about the speed that you're driving because you want to conserve as much energy as possible that's what your organs do as well you know when they feel uh, these chemicals inside of your body, they immediately assume that you are under stress and that you're going to need to use your energy for something else, right? So they stop performing the work that they they should. And that creates a huge problem inside of us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because remember that the organs are rebuilding themselves all the time. So if you are stopping that process, it's not going to be able to reveal the, itself at full capacity, you know, and, and then it's going to start creating a, a problem down the road. And one thing I remember speaking of that, uh, I, I remember watching something from Bruce Lipton, who I love, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and he actually mentioned around with stress our body, instead of our cells being in growth mode, which that's what they're in, with yes. the organs and everything, it actually completely stops. The cells stop growing, the immune system is just shot at that point, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and there's consequences, right? And the, and the consequence, what are the consequences? The consequences are, everything have a cost and a benefit, everything in life. Because remember, we talk about this in other programs, you know, it's a third dimension, this is the dimension of balance, mm -hmm. right? And you you have to balance everything. So the, 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 if you have a stress, the consequence is gonna be health, right? You, you don't gonna be able to have all the elements inside of your body to rebuild yourself. If you are not rebuilding the, 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 the cells, properly well it's gonna be a price to pay right eventually down the road you're gonna start having gray hair or you're gonna start having uh, uh, physical issues or symptoms right mm -hmm. and, and it's like like a, like a downward spiral that, that uh, the sooner that you catch it the faster that you're gonna be able to turn around but the more time that it takes you ah, the more difficult that is gonna be yeah so what about overwhelm and anxiety yeah, those, right, those are, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's levels of stress and levels of awareness. Like I told you before, everything starts in the references in, the, in our brain. I don't know if you notice, like, it, this happens to all of us, even to me. I mean, and I meditate quite often and very deeply, but, but I still have this situation. Sometimes you have, like, uh, a series of thoughts come into your brain, you know, especially when you're going to sleep. When, why this happens when you're going to sleep? Well, because all the distractions are going away, right? Everything is dark, so you don't have more distractions in, in, in your eyes. So you, your brain is free <laughs> to explore, right? And it starts shooting you like, oh, I have to pay this and I have to do this and oh, I haven't contact this and I need to call the, this uh, person. And, and, and it's like, choo, 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 choo. What happens at that particular moment in reality is that your brain is trying to find an answer for something that you are experiencing. Mm -hmm. So it's throwing you everything, everything to see if something makes sense to a thought or an emotion that you are experiencing. Usually when this happens, you feel restless or you have a light headache and, 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 and it's like uh, you are not able to relax yourself. You're, it, it, it's, a, it's a consequence of having all these different energies inside of you. Now, when you go into deeper levels of stress, then we start naming them in, in a different way, right? So it depends on how afraid you are or how unknown this event is for you. It's going to be the level of reaction of your body. 
Now, most of the problem is because we are trying to figure out something in the future, something that is not present, something that is not living, that you're not living right now. Because if you were living it right now, then it will be like a panic attack or anxiety. You know, that is having an unknown moment at the, in the present. That's the reaction of the body. It's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing air. I cannot live. I cannot breathe. I can't, it, it's, it's right there. It's present. But if it's only starting to happen like, like, uh, like anxiety, it's, it's something that you are, you, you expect to live in the future. It, it is something that is not real. You are making an assumption or something that may or may not happen in the future, you know? So, because we are healers and we talk about energy, we use also the body and and our energetic body to make sense out of this. Usually, all these emotions are what we consider dense emotions. They're dense emotions because these are emotions that you can only feel and experience when you are in a dense body. And what controls your dense body are your lower chakras. Your lower chakras are your physical mm. chakras, the, the root, uh, the sacro, and the solar plexus. That's where all, the, all these dense emotions usually need to find a house, you know, inside of your body. So now I'm gonna, I want to teach you a trick on what to do when you are having all those issues, you know? One of the things that you can do is try to bring the energy up, bring the energy to your top chakras. For the people that participate in our meditations, they have an, ex, an amazing exercise that takes you five minutes, mm-hmm. that will rebalance you completely. Yeah, it will rebalance you completely. It will help you to connect left side of the brain with the right side. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing exercise. It's, it's a perfect exercise. So if that is the case, I mean, it, it, or if you're curious about it, join us for the meditation. We're going to have a meditation later on today. So you can learn this exercise. It's just that pays the ticket. You know, if you take that exercise for the rest of your life, you're going to be sad. Yeah. Now, Let's say that you don't have the luxury because you are, let's say, uh, you know, I, I don't know, at the airport or the train station, you're full of people. You don't like to, to be judged and, and feel like a weirdo and so on and so forth, you know. One of the things that you can do, even if you're in a sitting position, I'm going to stand up uh, so, so, so I can be more clear, but you can do it uh, in a sitting position, is just start breathing rub your hands start breathing in and out and start bringing that energy up little by little and follow your intuition it's like little by little and be very intentional about it right yes 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 you focus to be on that because if you don't have the intention and this is a very important thing that usually anushka brings right if you don't have the intention, you don't have permission to do anything. If you don't have permission to do anything, you're going to block it. You know, it's, it's natural. That's how we do it. It's like, for example, uh, someone calls you, tells you that they want to take you to, to the restaurant. And you don't want to go with them. And it's like, oh, I don't want to go. And everybody's pushing you. You go there, you eat, and the food uh, uh, provokes diarrhea or something inside of your body, you know? That, that's usually when you do the things that you don't want to do. So, uh, so just have the intention to move that energy from the bottom to the top chakras. The top chakras are in, on your head. So just think that you're bringing all that energy to your head. As soon as you cross the heart, which is the frontier, you're going to start feeling the difference. Sometimes when I have clients that they are away on vacations or something and they call me up and they tell me, they're like crying and he's like, oh my God, this is because I have this problem with my husband and they don't understand me. Blah, 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 blah. The exercise that I do for them is like, okay, just close your eyes and just breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. And then let's start bringing the energy up. Blah, 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 blah. And once we have the energy up, I tell them, okay, open up your eyes and then talk to me again the crying stops, <laughs> you know? It's immediate, right? Mm-hmm. Why? Because 
um, we had a workshop this last uh, Sunday, and we were talking about the, the, the words that the go with each one of the set of chakras, you know. And, and this is all about expansion. It's about possibilities. It's about hope. It's about re they are about uh, respect. They are all about uh, understanding. You know, it's 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 different. So when you are here, all those dense emotions no longer find place to host themselves in your body. So it's kind of like if you release them. It's, it's like if you let them go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ho I really hope that, that uh, this information helps you. And don't believe yes. anything, try it, <laughs> you know? Try it and see what happens in your own case. Yeah, it makes okay. a huge difference. And I know when I take on these exercises for myself even, I, I mm -hmm. immediately feel a release. I mean, thankfully, I'm more present. And I, I do believe meditation is huge for that. So for people that do deal with either stress anxiety or overwhelm even i mean it really is just the thought patterns more than anything so i would consider taking on daily meditation and joining us tonight to learn that exercise too right because like jacob said, right we're gonna have it but, at 7 p.m tonight and every tuesday really so and why meditation what's happening with meditation that creates that experience for us so you're bringing the energy to your energetic self exactly that, that and you're being it present. Does. it's like you're allowing yeah. yourself to just be present with your breath and without judgment if you do have thoughts right and you're just being like yeah. okay thank you thought and whatnot and that allows you to just continue to be present right um right so with oh i know with overwhelm that's just taking on a lot like I know when I, I hear people saying, like to me, I'm like, overwhelm is a made up word because it really is more about like, you're looking at like 10 things or a hundred things at once rather than looking at what's the one next thing and doing things moment by moment and still having a list of things to do, but not focusing on all of the things to do and really looking at, okay, well, what's the one next thing? Otherwise the energy of it becomes dense, like you said. Yes, 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 yes. Overwhelm. <sighs> Overwhelm goes because it's not only your your own stress. Is is usually because you are carrying energies from someone else. Mm. Basically, you are borrowing the problems at an energetic level of someone else and making them yours. Like for example. Uh, Usually this happens like, like in the environment or, or for example, if you're watching the news and you are seeing all these issues, the pandemic, the people that are dying, people that are close to you are getting infected. You know, it's, that's, that's an example of overwhelm because unconsciously, I mean, consciously is like, it's like, I am just getting informed. You know, that's, that's, that's your thought. That's, that's usually the idea. But unconsciously what, what is happening in reality is that every time that you go to a place, you grab energy and you grab energy and you grab energy and you create references inside of your body, that, inside of your brain, I mean, and that, that, that are creating judgments, you know? And, and, and then if the thought, it's a low vibration thought, you know, it's, it's some sort of like a complaint or it's a, a you know, uh, I'm tired of life or something like that, something deep, you know, this is going to help you to make sense and to see that you are right, you know, to, to, to help you see that, that, yeah, in reality, we, we, you know, we cannot solve this problem, you know, that's, that's the problem. That's when you start feeling overwhelmed, that you are catching energy from someone else and bringing it. So a judgment that you have, gets like overpowered. It's like you put turbo on it and, and then explodes and it creates this massive thing. That's why I'm telling you guys to, to try to bring your energy up and look for hope. Look for something more um, chewable. You know, it's, it's like you are allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to have a positive outlook because that is what creates the difference, you know. 
Remember that everything starts in our brain, right? And, and, and I know that uh, it's very easy for us to have a judgment about what is right and what is wrong. And it's almost impossible to see, like, for example, if you see uh, uh, an adult taking advantage of a young kid, right? That is wrong. We consider it wrong. We have a, a label that says wrong. And although we don't know what happened before, you know, we don't know if that kid uh, uh, probably break his window or, or scratch his car or, or pinches his tires before. We don't know. We don't have history. We are just seeing this particular event. And we are classifying it as wrong. This is wrong. It shouldn't happen. Well, when you do that, your brain creates a reference and creates a law and says, every time that I see an adult taking advantage of a kid, it's wrong. And the problem with that is that every time that someone else is taking advantage of you or someone else, you are seeing it as wrong. The problem is not that, that is good, but, but the problem is that energy starts accumulating and starts building up. So if your base is wrong, it starts expanding and it starts expanding and it starts expanding and it starts expanding until you, might, you make almost the entire human race something that is uh, uh, wrong, you know, because we all have good and bad. We all have... Uh, good experiences and bad experiences we all sometimes take advantage of someone else including ourselves you know when you are overeating something that you really like i don't care if it's a salad you know if you are full and, and, and your body is satisfied and you keep eating it it's you are taking advantage of your own self but because you have already a judgment that taking advantage of someone or something it's bad you are making yourself bad and that energy starts building up inside of you. I don't know if it makes sense what, I, what I'm trying to explain here. That is why we yeah. always ask, especially in our meditations and the people that go through our workshops and stuff, to stop making judgments. You know, they, to start seeing an event like neutral. You know, you can go to that adult and tell, you know what, don't offend the kid, you know, and, 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 and leave him alone. And, and on ask the kid, do you want to call your father? Do you want to call your mother? Is it, who are you with? You know, so, so the kid cannot feel alone. But don't create the judgment, right? You just act on it. You act, you create, you do something that is that match your values, but without creating a judgment. You are not making that person the, the rest of battle. You're not making the, the aggressive, uh, 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 like a victim, you know? Is trying to live your life with less just judgment as possible, because every time that you judge uh, something, it creates a reference in your brain. And if you happen to have all your emotions excited at that particular moment, then it's going to go to your subconscious and it's going to stay there forever, mm. forever, forever. Mm. And and if you are in a relationship and and you consider that. Uh, in my case, a, a wife is giving me a smaller portion of food. I'm going to feel that she's taking advantage of me, <laughs> right? So, and, and it's going to create, it's going to trigger a program in my subconscious mind. They've got nothing to do with what we, what we are experiencing. She probably, out of love, is considering that I am all getting overweight and it's going to be unhealthy for me to keep uh, uh, growing you know and, and, mm -hmm. and so so she's taking care of me but you take it as an attack immediately because of judgment in a program that you have in your subconscious mind from a so, past yeah and it's all from a yeah. past experience totally yeah. and one yeah. thing i always and i so it's like so and this is like getting on a whole nother level of it but like for people out there with the whole right and wrong thing but there's people that will rape right pedophiles serial killers and as crazy as it may sound to some people, in their mind, they're not doing anything wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's just how, crazy. that's well, why they so, do what they do, because in their mind, they're like, well, I'm, they, they, they justify themselves. And so, and then it's, it, and then that's like a whole nother level. So, I didn't, yeah, I know, I took it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it, it's 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 a deep level and it's and it's a deep conversation and it's very good that you bring it over because remember you're gonna live your life based 
on your values, right? Mm -hmm. But in another hand, remember this, you also are experiencing things that you needed to experience. So if you are being aware of a pedophile, of a killer or something like that, it, 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 there's a reason for it. I, I have no idea what's the reason. I, I have no clue whatsoever, you know? When we are in therapy, sometimes we're able to find answers, but, but it's different, it's, it, it's very specific. But what I can tell you for sure is that it's not just by chance that you're living those experiences. There's a reason why, like for example, our generation right now, is going through the experience of Black Lives Matter, of seeing these this, uh, uh, young kids, or oh, sometimes not that young uh, people, they have a different color in, in their skin and different fa facial, uh, 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 I don't know how to say this, uh, uh, forms uh, to get killed just by, for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, right. without any valid, valid reason, you know. Well, there's a reason why we are experiencing that. There's a reason why we are experiencing at the same time that we are going through a pandemic. And there's a reason why we're experiencing all that, why we are going through a shift in the financial situation, you know, and, 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 and where everybody's... And all yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just a lot. But there's a reason why. I mean, and, and the reason probably is for, for, for the universe to let you know that the world around you is crazy, but you can still find peace inside of you. That your peace is not going to come from the outside, that it needs to come from the other side, which is you, yeah. you know, from the inside. I don't know. You know, there's always a reason. There's always a reason. But certainly, if you see you happen to see or oh, i if i happen to be driving and i see uh uh an arrest of a black kid and, and, and a bunch of police getting abused I, I, for sure i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna let them know guys <laughs> do you want to be in the news you know <laughs> it's like yeah. don't risk that you know don't risk that let let, let the, the kid leave you know and and, and uh, so so i mean there's a reason why we're going through all this, you know? So, so be aware that nothing happened just because of it. That all those stresses that you are experiencing are for a reason, for a good reason. But what is not good is to keep all that energy inside of you. What you need to do when you are having energy, is uh, dense energy, is just receive the message Say thank you very much for stop by for visiting me, and then move on. You know, move on. Let that energy go down, because it's gonna affect everything in you. It's gonna affect how you see the world. It's gonna affect how you process the food that you eat. It's gonna affect the choice, the the, the, the food that you choose to eat. You yeah, know, because yeah, we, we usually when when you are feeling all stressed. You want comfort food. You don't want to, to yeah, you don't want to, to eat something healthy or something nice or, mm -hmm. uh, or prepare something. You just want to get over with, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and feel good in some way or another. Mm -hmm. um, so it affects everything around you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And I know you already mentioned this, but just to reiterate, because so these emotions, they get stuck, and even like the energy of it and everything, they get stuck in our chakras. Right. Mm -hmm. So why why is that? Why is it that they get stuck there? That is an excellent question, as usual. <laughs> you know, from Anushka. Okay. And we haven't talked about this in the past uh, 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 life, so it, it's an amazing question. This is the thing. You know, in our body, and I and, and I gotta put myself into the side. We have our aura field, and our aura field expand and contract based on how how we feel if we feel threatened if we feel fear if we feel uh that something is wrong then your energy is going to contract it's going to contract a lot it's going to be like here because the energy around you needs to become dense so it can create a barrier right so if someone tells you something you have to go through that filter that isn't thick wall of energy before it goes into you now your chakras are 
like the outlets. This is, this is how you receive energy from you and from others, how we communicate. So think that although my aura is here, my centers of energy are inside of my body. And the combination of, of my energy centers and my aura are what, I, what are creating my reality. So for example, the people that go to, to, to our meditation and do the exercise with us, when we release all that energy, we start feeling centered and calm at the same time. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because what happens is that probably this chakra was, was, was very big and this other one was small and this other one was in the middle and this was tiny and this other one is big. So when we clean all the energy from our aura field, our chakras immediately become like clean, become balanced, you know, become, they, they, they have the same level of energy in each one of them. Mm-hmm. That's why we feel center. And at that particular moment, you don't feel stressed. You don't feel negative. You don't have a negative outlook about life. You know, you just feel yourself. You are yourself and that is your natural self. That is the way that you are supposed to feel. So now, what emotions do, we already talked about dense emotions and they need to be hosted on your lower chakras. So it's from the solar plexus all the way down in this level because these chakras control your physical experience. These are the chakras that send energy to your sexual organs, to your detox organs, and to the organs that you use to process food, right? The stomach the spleen, the, 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 the liver, the uh, pancreas, you know, your kidneys, mm-hmm. your, I mean, it's all the important yeah. part of you, it's physical. No. The energetic side comes from above, the energetic side. So all the nutrients, this process, all the food that we eat, all the emotions that we have, and then all the nutrients, of that energy that get produced once get processed and, and spelled out of our body goes into your blood system and as a form of oxygen and blood and, and, and cells and help the other side of you, you know, the rational and, and the and the emotional and the spiritual brain and all that kind of thing. You know, so now remember that the 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 emotions of fear, the emotions of loneliness, the emotions of sadness, the emotions of everything that creates you stress, that I'm not enough, all that stuff. It's all about your physical experience. It's not about your spiritual experience because on the spirit, you're perfect. You know, you are exactly the way that you should be, the height, the weight, the gender, the skin color. You are the perfect version of yourself. But at the physical level, you are starting to compare yourself with others. Oh, I should be taller, or I should be thinner, or I should be smaller, or I should be have a clear skin, or I should have green eyes, or I should have this car, or I, had a, I should live in this place. You know, all that is about the physical. You are not comparing your energetic self with the energetic self of someone else. Otherwise, you, you, you would say, Thank God I am me and not them, you know? Seriously, just, just give it a shot. Give it a shot. Check, check the persons. You know, as a therapist, we have the opportunity to, 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 to work with a lot of people. And I see many times these very beautiful people, young people with everything. And the things that I'm working with them are very, very deep. You know, all the things that are inside are kind of like, uh, thank God I, I, I haven't experienced them in my life, you know? Mm. So it's like that. Yeah, if I compare at the physical level, it's going to be physical, right? So it's got to be controlled on my physical chakras. So that's the reason why they get stuck there. You know, mm. that's the reason why. It's because it's part of your physical experience. It's got nothing to do, to do with your spiritual or your energetic self. It's all about the physical. So that's the reason why we need to move them out of there. Either release them into the floor or bring your energy up so you can see the other version of yourself, the other part of yourself. Absolutely. That makes sense. No, definitely. And what came to me 
as you were explaining that too is well that that to me is also self-love right so the more we work on self-love loving ourselves for who we are inside and outside in all the ways and accepting ourselves that in itself is huge in releasing these emotions and not holding on to how it's supposed to be or how it should look like or how i need to look like and all the things that you mentioned uh definitely and you know what as a secret i think that it's easier to accept yourself first at an energetic level than than it is at the physical level and in the physical we have to rebalance you know once you accept you emotionally you like a perfect version of yourself the physical eventually have to catch up because mm -hmm. remember it's it, it's it's a dimension of balance right yeah. everything is balanced so nothing can be out of balance and one of the two have to win and the better that you accept yourself the it's a higher the vibration but it's a higher vibration emotion the more mm -hmm. good that you're gonna feel and uh, so 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 it just makes sense that the lower vibration will try to rise, raise to, 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 the, to the other, to the energetic self. Yeah, you know? and in that way, when we raise our frequency and energy to love or above or anything higher than we want to eat, we actually have a desire to eat better. We want to be more joyful. We do things that are more joyful, which therefore causes our physical appearance to appear that way as well. So yeah, it definitely, it all goes hand in hand, absolutely. And that, that's a really good way of putting it too. Um, I'm seeing if there's any questions here. I don't see any yet. So last question, and this is a bit, uh, it's a question that I'm, I'm curious about myself and in general, right? So I know there's people out there that have been diagnosed with having anxiety, for instance. So, and it's something that's a subject that some people don't like to talk about, especially as therapists and whatnot, right? And just out of curiosity, how, like, what do you say about that when someone comes to you and says, hey, I've been diagnosed with anxiety? Well, first of all, uh, the, the very first thing that I teach them is that you don't have anxiety. You know, it's a symptom. It's a symptom. Anxiety is a symptom, but you are not anxiety. You don't have any, because once you take ownership of something, we're going back again to permission, right? Yes. You are not giving yourself permission to heal, right? This is part of my identity. It's like saying I am a man, right? So, mm -hmm. so, so, so it's, you have to switch that. The second thing is try to find the source. You know, and once we find the source, the third thing that I do is try to find out where in their body they are carrying that. Because we usually tend to carry energies or emotions inside of our body. So we need to figure out where, where is that? You know, which part of our body is hosting that energy? So we can release it and we can see the before and after. You know, for me, it's very important as a therapist because I can do all my work, all my process, and then notice that nothing's happening, right? That, 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 the, that the person is not shifting. But if they say that they don't feel different, but I notice that the organ is no longer carrying that energy, uh, I know that the shift is going to happen, you know, but I just need to give them time. I just need to allow them to do whatever it is that they need to. And, and that's how it is. You know, the, the, the thing is that this, this is a fictitious case, so it's difficult to, 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 to be honest and complete about it. But it can be many things. It can be like, for example, uh, that is the reason why uh, people are giving him love or her love, you know, if it's a, a woman or a man. Uh, because everybody's, oh, I'm sorry for you. Oh, you, oh my God, how you feel? You know, people checking on him and his relatives checking on him. And when he was healthy, nobody was calling him, you know, or nobody was checking on him. And that can be, the, you know, a, a need for physical love out of other people, you know. So, so, so 
it's 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 a matter of checking many things. It's, it's not only one thing. It's it's a matter of checking many things. It's, if it's someone that is just came back from, he was a soldier in your know, marine and just came back from war and and they saw horrible things or they did horrible things to others. Well, then we need to start working on a, on on a process of forgiveness, right? And 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 asking apologies to all the people, including himself, you know, for mm -hmm. choosing to be a Marine in the first place, because there's a lot of stuff that we carry, and, and it's usually not the people that they kill. It's, 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 it goes back, you know, it's why you become a Marine. And, oh, I was escaping of my house, you know. Oh, okay, so why you were escaping from your house, right? Oh, because I'm so tired of the little town. Why is the little town so overwhelming for you? You know, it's, oh, it's because everybody's judging. Oh, so now we find something, you know. Mm -hmm. When was the first time that you get judged? You know, when it comes to mind. And, and we start trying to go to the root cause of everything. Then now is, I'm coming back from work and I have all these uh, uh, situations, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so it's always like that. It's difficult for a person, like, like for example, believe it or not, therapists have their own therapists. You know why is that? Because it's very difficult to work on on ourselves. Yeah, we have blind spots. And, and, yeah, not not just we have the blind spots; is we cheat. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we cheat ourselves. You know, it's like ah, no, I'm, I'm okay. That that thing is solved, right? Because I I solved it. Uh, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I cry it, and I let it go, and so on and so forth. And, 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 and a therapist can find that, no, 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 you haven't, my friend. <laughs> you know, this is a representation. You know, we, we cannot uh, uh, control someone else's mentality, and, mm -hmm. and we can always control our, ourselves. But definitely the first thing that everybody should be doing is what you said, you know, accepting yourself for who you are, mm -hmm. accepting how you are, Physically, spiritually, mentally, you know, emotionally, just just come to terms with you. Because if you don't have that, everything else that you do, all the extra work, all the money that you're gonna spend in therapies, in gyms, in diets, and it's not gonna work. It's not gonna yeah. work because it's no. not gonna go from the inside out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not gonna become a transformation from the inside out. It's not gonna create the shift in your life that you want. Think that uh, all these dense emotions and patterns that we have in our subconscious mind, all these programs that we are carrying there, are kind of like a huge magnet, you know? And no matter how far you go, eventually you're gonna turn around and come back. Yeah, and it's a belief system, like that subconscious belief system. And so it's like, yeah. and I noticed that when I do health coaching and whatnot, where it's like someone wants to lose weight and they do the program, they do all the things, but they have this subconscious belief of whatever that may be. Yeah. Like maybe they think I'm fat and this isn't working or whatever it looks like. And so therefore and, it won't. And, and, and usually, for example, when, when it's a matter of weight, can be uh, we, we just had a workshop about uh, empath. Mm -hmm. Empath are usually people that get overweight. Why is that? Because they're trying to bring a protection about, uh, around them. They're trying to make sure that they're not attractive enough uh, so, so people uh, don't, don't come to them too close, you know, because if they're already feeling emotions of someone else, they're making sure that they don't have enough emotions there for, for, for everybody else, you know, and, and, and so they don't get, uh, they don't go to the, to the vulnerable areas of themselves. So, so that's how, how it usually is. And, you know, we are, we are all a, a reaction of something. Like, for example, in my case, I'm going to be vulnerable here, you know. This is how I usually stand. And if you see, I'm not straight, you know, my head is falling forward. And this creates a pain here, mm. and, I'm very, and I am very aware of. So there's exercise that I'm supposed to do every single day, that when I finish doing the exercise, it's like I go like this in a natural way, naturally. I just you did know? that right but, now. <laughs> just you yeah, talking about it. For like, yeah. some reason, yeah, but for some reason, I know the reason, and I'm going to share that with you guys, uh, but for some reason, it's... Um, it's uncomfortable for me to be like that. 
-hmm. And I see people that are, this is like natural to them. And I, I, I admire them. I love them. You know, especially on a woman, for me, it's extremely, it's, it's very, very attractive to see them like that, right? Because it's something that I'm missing. So now, why is comfortable for me to have that posture? Well, what I notice in myself, working with myself, is that uh, that, uh, that was the posture of my father. Oh. And I don't have my father since I was 10. Mm. So this is a way that I'm using to connect with him, to make him mm. proud, to see, to show him that I look like him. Although he had a different color skin and he didn't have hair, uh, 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 but we were about the same height, you know. And and uh, but you see how it is? Totally, it, it's yeah. like crazy. Like 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 I always talk about this in in my life that I have an addiction to pizza, right? It's it's because of my father too. He used to love pizza and he used yeah. to take us to the pizza place and he was having a blast when he was eating the pizza. So, so, so I get that association. And if I have a pizza, even though I am full and I am like this and I can hardly breathe, if I see a slice, my mouth keeps watering until there's no more pizza left. That's right? why you enjoyed that pizza on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, because it's an amazing substitute, right? It's an amazing substitute. It's a healthy substitute for, 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 for my, my craving. So yeah. now, although I am very aware of at the conscious level, I haven't been able to heal them at the subconscious level. Mm. So even though I, most of the time I do the exercises and I stretch myself and I am flexible, and, and I'm able to, 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 to stand in that position for a little bit, I come back down. I come back down. You know, because it's not a rational decision. It's something that is back there. And this something that is energetic, that is not touchable, not physical, is transforming my physical body. Because if I don't take care of this right away, eventually my body is going to stay like this forever and mm -hmm. i'm not gonna be able to to bring it back even up. if i try it you know so so that's how it is that's how it is if i eat, keep eating pizza every other day well then eventually uh, uh, my organs are gonna give up and they're not gonna be able to process all that garbage that i give feeding them and and uh, it's gonna create a symptom you see how it is yep. so it's it, it's not everybody else it's, it's also with me so yeah, we be careful do. with that. Yeah. Be yeah. careful with that, guys. Be careful with the messages that you, the life is giving you to yourself from you. You know, mm -hmm. the things that you hate, the things that you like, everything have a meaning. If it's a good thing, keep it. But if something that is harming you, you know, let it go. And believe it or not, everything starts with the stress. Because when you are stressed, you don't have the time to meditate, to think, to see these things that, I, that I'm talking about. Yeah. They're completely blind to you, you know, mm -hmm. because you are on surviving mode. And that's the reason why it's so important for you to be able to control those stress levels, to bring them completely down, to put it at a level that are manageable and chewable. Chewable so you can eat it and release it. Yep. You know? And then raise That's your it. vibration. Yeah, raise yeah. your vibration. And yeah. With that holds to, so I, something I that came to me as you were sharing about your posture, right? So mm -hmm. I have a few really tall girlfriends, and they have similar posture as well. And what I notice with them is because most of most girls, for the most part, are well, <laughs> I'm pretty short, but the average height is usually I would say five six yeah. or something. Yeah. So my friends that are much taller it's almost like they have that posture as well because they don't want to overpower or any I, I don't know what it is but there's something around that as well and i do notice but, that with tall friends but, but but it is fictitious right because for you watching them this or seeing them like that is 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 is, is, is just a tiny thing you know and uh, i i do want to tell you something that when i'm driving most cars the windshield is not tall enough for us to let us see the lights, especially mm -hmm. if you are the first car at stoplight. 
You know, you, you actually have to go like this to be able to see it. If, if not, we don't see it. But uh, we went on the car all the time, you know. And, uh, and I dated a, a, a woman from Canada, very beautiful. And, and I'm uh, 6'2", and she was 6'1", or 6'2", you know. And she was perfectly straight. Perfectly. That's actually one of the things that was very attractive uh, uh, for me. Uh, uh, from her, you know, and and uh, and she was like this, and and I always tell her, I love your posture, and and that's how she walked, that's how she run, that's how she cooked, that's how she did everything. I mm. mean, so 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 in reality, it's, oh, yeah. the rest oh, of the yeah. stuff is just justification, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to find the reason why they are like that, and 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 uh, and then fix it, you know, yeah. kill it, fix it. Change. And have the awareness, right? I feel like awareness is yeah. eighty percent of it. Because once you have the awareness of it, you can keep catching yourself and then shifting. And it's like the next layer. And it's a never ending healing journey. That's just how I see yes. it. Like constantly, what's the next layer? What's the next layer? And and completely being okay with that, not judging yourself around it, right? Yeah. Um, I do have a question here. So on Facebook, Anush has asked. How, how, let's see, how do you release stress if some, if your parents have, if some parents have pain? So I'm, I'm thinking, how do you release stress when your parents yeah. have pain? Let, let's assume, um, and hopefully this is not the case, but let's assume that they are very sick, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, that is what is creating the stress. Well, the reason that you have all that stress is what we talked right at the beginning of the life. It's because you are creating a judge. You are creating a judgment of this is bad. Now, it's, you know, when we, when we are energetic healers, it's, it's, it's complicated because sometimes we go to places that are not normal, you know, but, but they do affect us. Uh, uh, regardless of if you believe in them or not. But sometimes people are caring things from other lives sometimes are carrying things from these lives that, that, that you are not aware of you know and uh in, in one of those reasons um is how they choose to experience sickness because it's, it's like self-punishment you know you are self-punishing yourself uh, uh for whatever for whatever reason of ex or experience and the way that you are coming to terms with that past is, is through that. You know, right now we are seeing these uh, old folks, you know, senior citizens, they get COVID and they get into a hospital and they don't come back alive out of that hospital and they were completely alone. It's hard to believe it and it's hard to understand it, but, but there's a reason for that, you know? And even if you notice that they were amazing people and they were amazing grandpas, and they were the most loving neighbors and everybody loves them and they still go through the process and they die alone. You have no idea what it is. I cannot tell you what it is. What I can tell you is that sometimes doing uh, um, regressions, you know, like life regressions going beyond this life, we find a lot of answers for the people, you know, and, 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 and they experience something in another time that they're healing in this time. It's... Uh, it's a complicated topic because because uh, I've been on the receiving end uh, of, of those situations and, and I know how it is. And, and I know that in my case, the reason why I'm sharing all this with you guys and the tools that I'm sharing with you guys is because they work for me. It's something that I, that I try on my own. And um, when I went through those experiences and, and I'm seeing people that I love suffering and, and, and going uh, even dying, um, when I when my energy is down in my lower chakras, I cry. I feel sad. I feel like Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing is worth it in my life. You know, it's like what I'm still here. You know, this is just a fictitious bunch of baloney. You know, I I want to be at peace, and 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 I feel very bad. And 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 I can tell you that even symptoms of depressed i mean my depression lasts me minutes but but i still feel it you know mm -hmm. it's like like uh sleepy all the symptoms right but then when i remember 
I activate my energy in my hands, I rub my hands, and I start bringing that energy up, and everything changed. And I don't know, I cannot explain you with words, but, but I suggest you to give it a shot, you know? If you are going through that experience, friend, just rub your hands, have a clear intention of moving all that dense energy from your bottom chakras, do some breathings with your eyes closed and bring it up and up and up and up and up and up until you reach your third eye, you know? And you're gonna feel completely different. And you're gonna be able to learn, understand, and respect the path of your parents. Your job is to do everything in your power to help them. If you are doing it already, because, oh, well, I, I'm not a doctor, how can I help them? You cannot help them with medicine, you cannot heal the bodies, but you can talk to them. And you can help them to remind them things that were beautiful, beautiful experiences. You can mm -hmm. uh, uh, share jokes. Uh, you can help them to see that their life was worth it. Because when you have a positive energy, it's, it's like everything starts rising. Something that I recommend to people, and unfortunately, you know, at one point I have an excellent video and I didn't record it and I, it and I lose it. But it was a collection of babies laughing mm, you know? yes it was amazing and if you are going through that process just find a video and if you find one send it over to Anushka to me please because it's like I strongly recommend you to record it and have it on your telephone as a first aid kit and every time that you're feeling sad allow yourself to feel the sadness don't reject it let it move through your body receive yeah, the true. message why I'm feeling sad, that's a message that is important for you. But then get out of that by, by playing this, this, this uh, laughs of, of, of mm -hmm. kids, you know, of, of babies. It's such a beautiful boost. It, it changes your outlook of life. You know? And one thing to add to that, when you do get to that level, when you raise your own energy, when you get to a higher frequency with the, laugh, the baby laughter, or however you do it, it also makes such a huge difference for those around you, like your parents that are dealing with things. One thing I always yes. actually coach my clients with is to the ones that are care caregivers, especially I'm like, you got to create that love bubble for those that are going through the stress because they take on the energy. So if you have the yes. energy of concern and stress and worry, well, whether or not you're saying it and you're smiling around them, your energy is that. And therefore they yeah. pick that up from you and that's the last thing they need. Right. And so when I was going through everything I was going through, I was very clear. If you don't have love, you're not coming around me. Like I was very clear about that because that to me is what was important when I was going through chemo and all the things that I had to deal with. So that's what I would say would also make a huge difference, not only for you, but then also for your parents or loved ones. And, and let me just add something very quick. I know that we're running out of time, but uh, this is, this is you, you touch a very, very important subject. If someone is criticizing you, if, if I, for example, start criticizing uh, Anushka, um, she's going to start laughing. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a barrier. And it's a barrier that we put in a natural way. But although we are laughing here, our energy is contracting. Mm. It's not expanding. And that's what she means. That's what she means. If you don't, like, her energy just shifts. I just say that I was going to criticize. I didn't criticize her. And, and her energy just came down. And she's laughing. You see, you see what I mean? And, and, and so what you need to do at those particular times is expand yourself. Bring your energy up. Expand and embrace. Embrace everybody that is criticizing you. Embrace everybody that is judging you. Is their problem. It's not yours. You yep. know, that's the version of you that they have. It's not yours. It's not real. Yeah. You have to be we good and okay with you, not with anybody else. Because anybody else anyway don't, don't gonna understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. And we're literally about to run out of time on Instagram. So Join us tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will post about it shortly as well. And it's only $20. You'll get a really great exercise from that.
And it's every Tuesday oh, yeah. at 7 p.m. PST if you can't make it tonight. All right. Thank you all so much for joining and engaging. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. And thank you, Anushka. Bye-bye.